Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, got a new toy in the shop. Now I'm out here in the old detached garage, so excuse the shitty lighting and shitty audio. <laughs> Hear quite a bit of echo. But uh, recently acquired this old beauty. Needs a little bit of work, but uh, it's a gorgeous old Logan, made in USA. Model 2535-2VH. She needs quite a bit of love. Uh, notably, the the motor, which I have a uh, have a motor here. This is a uh, 220 or 240, whatever the hell. Um, but you can see in the motor compartment there, the motor plate is empty and the belt is a hanging so unfortunately I do not have 240 out here uh, I'm working on putting in a trench and running some uh, some conduit I also want to get a water line so I can put in a little uh, hand wash station out here and just run that to a little dry well but this is gonna be the new lathe now uh, I have the old lantern style tool holder so that'll hold me over for quite some time, but I do want to get a nice proper uh, tool post for this. So keep an eye out <laughs> for those. And then big old four jaw chuck. I mean, look at that son of a gun. That is a monster. Beautiful chuck. And then the three jaw, which also is in beautiful shape. So this lathe was actually sold to me by my old High school, well, not calling him old, <laughs> but uh, my retired high school shop teacher, great guy, uh, kept in touch since way back when I was in high school, and have done a few projects together in between, but uh, went to his retirement party, he said he was selling his lathe, uh, he had gotten a new one, and for the phenomenal price of 500 bucks, he sold me this old beauty and uh, and we're gonna work to get this sucker running it does the the only catch is with the uh, I guess the kind of big catch aside from motor um, is that the uh, god brain fucking work <laughs> the gearbox here has a couple stripped uh, teeth so I'm gonna have to try to find new gears or maybe have one of my old machinist buddies put one together for me. Uh, the problem is, it, it's a double gear like this. I think there might actually be one that has the fucked up teeth. Let me see here. Yeah, there we go. So you can see here, this one's just all worn out. So, I might, might be able to get in touch with one of my old machinist buddies and have him machine me up something. So motor wise, I don't know if I'm actually gonna run with the uh, 240 volt motor that's down in the bag there. I'm thinking, just for a little better control, I might go with a DC treadmill motor, like a two and a half horsepower treadmill motor because they're, they're super easy to control and, uh, and pretty torquey to bat. So I think that's probably the route I'm gonna go. I'm keeping an eye out for an, an old free treadmill or a treadmill motor on a Facebook Marketplace. We'll see if that ever shows up. But yeah, this thing will finally replace the old shitty Chinese lathe. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Everything is just so freaking smooth cross slides beautiful so I'm gonna have to do like one of those uh, <laughs> restore it videos on YouTube where they take an old belt sander or a bench vise and sandblast it paint it and get a million views except this will uh, be significantly bigger <laughs> and it certainly won't get a million views the incredible thing about working with somebody who really knows what they're doing is we did not even have to strain for a moment working on this thing I mean he had 
everything figured out on how to move this. I rented a, uh, a lift bed truck and literally we just laid some pipes down. Everything was mechanical advantage. I mean, uh, we, didn't, we didn't strain for a mere moment. Now my game plan, and you can also see here, got myself an old used fume hood. Snagged it for a couple hundred bucks. Uh, someone was doing a renovation of an old environmental lab or something of that nature and they were just going to toss this thing. He grabbed it, loaded it on his truck and threw it on Facebook Marketplace. So got it for a couple hundred bucks. Only thing is it doesn't have a variable speed uh, blower. So um, I might have to switch that out to a, a treadmill motor as well so I can control airflow. Because if I'm just doing a, a small experiment that doesn't require an insane amount of airflow, you know, I'm, I'm not going to want to evacuate all the air in the garage because I'll lose my heat or my cool. Make the AC work a lot harder. And speaking of that, there is no heating or cooling in this garage. So you can see I got my old uh, 10 by 12 trailer over there. A couple of the uh, dirt machines, the old tractor. And what I plan to do is totally rip the remaining bit of cabinetry out of here. You can see I already did that wall. Uh, put in some InsoFast panels. It's like a, a styrofoam, it's extruded polystyrene EPS panels that have like pre-routed uh, cable lines for routing electrical and basically get this place insulated because I can't do any work out here during the winter. It's just too freaking cold. And I need to put a new door in that door. <laughs> you can probably tell from the firing strips holding it together. That door <laughs> needs a replacing. And then on top of that, I need to uh, totally redo a good bit of the roof here. It wasn't built properly. Um, there's not enough. There should be a large central beam going across to support the roof. Uh, the roof is sagging in a few areas because it's not supported properly and these trusses here span like 25 feet they're not rated for that kind of span at all so i'm gonna try to uh sorry for the terrible lighting in here it sucks Let's see if i can do this might be a little better uh, so you can see that's a weird reflection coming off the wood but you can see it is not spanned properly at all, nor is it spanned consistently. The roof is sagging in a couple areas, so that needs repaired. And I want to be able to finish this area off, make it a comfortable workspace, put in a little mini split heat pump, put uh, some cabinets all in on that wall, really turn it into a proper workshop so you know I don't have to worry about catching my house on fire. At worst, I'll just burn down my workshop. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess game plan wise, I'm looking at a, uh, I forget what the hell they're called, but it's some sort of big engineered uh, support beam. They're uh, a lot cheaper than getting an I-beam and, and they're rated very well. So I'll put in a couple columns on each side and, uh, and then run a big support beam all the way across. So that way I'll be able to effectively span this, build up some more uh, ceiling support so I can actually put drywall in, some blowing insulation, all that sort of good shit. The fun of owning a home that was not properly built. But yeah, we got the fume hood and we got the lathe. So things are moving. I just need to get to work on uh, actually finishing this place. Here's the old bastard quad. Look at this thing beat to shit and it still keeps taking it. <laughs> you see, uh, the original headlight was missing when I got it, so I got a couple uh, LED lights on Amazon. They're bright as shit. And I've been running these things for almost two years now. And uh, they still work great. So I have a spot for the low beam and up top is a flood for the high beam. So if I hit that, turn it off, my switch is getting a little, it's not the lights, it's the actual switch. I got to clean, there we go. The more you use it, the cleaner it gets. 
Yeah, this is an old uh, LTZ 400 uh, 2005 that I had to totally rebuild. The cylinder was destroyed. The wiring harness was cut in a million places. I got it for a few hundred bucks, but uh, had to completely rebuild it from split the cases, put a new cylinder in, new piston. It, it was a really fun project, but a lot more money than I anticipated putting into a, an old machine. But she runs great and has provided me a lot of fun. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. Have a great one.